Hi guys, Oliver at Delta XML here. Today, we're going to walk through how to do your first comparison with an evaluation copy of Delta XML software, using XML Compare as an example. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to start processing your own files. This video assumes that you've already done the following. Signed up for an evaluation through our website, registered on My Delta, downloaded and installed the software and license file, and that you have Java installed. All of these are covered in another one of our videos. With that out of the way, let's get started. Here you can see that I've extracted the product files. Inside the samples folder, we've set up a few files to make your first comparison as easy as possible, both for Windows and Linux. Today, I'm using Windows, and inside this folder you can see the batch files we've prepared, which will automatically run a comparison and show us the output. Because Delta XML products are built with integration in mind, we offer multiple ways of working with all of them. In the case of XML Compare, you could choose to use either the Java API, the REST API, or you can work through the command line drivers we've created for each. Please note that if you're using the REST version of the product, you will need to start the REST server before doing comparisons, and use the REST versions of the batch files that we are working with here. You can start the REST server by using this batch file. OK, let's run some comparisons using the batch files. This first batch file creates a HTML side-by-side -side comparison output. After a few seconds, it will automatically open in a web browser. This output is configured to show change bars, highlighting additions and deletions in green and red, and with further configuration, it's possible to highlight moves too. OK, now let's try the doc diff report pipeline. This output is another configured HTML output. This pipeline is similar to the side-by-side -side output, but instead highlights the changes in line. This type of output is particularly popular in the publishing industry, and the International Standards Organization actually integrated a very similar pipeline live on their website to present changes between versions of their standards. Finally, let's run the Delta pipeline. This is the base output from XML Compare, and because this is valid XML, it can be readily processed into other applications and workflows. Furthermore, this delta is the basis from which other output types are produced, and you'll notice that the same changes are present in this file as in the other two HTML reports we just looked at. OK, now let's do a comparison using some of your own files. As I mentioned before, there are lots of ways to use XML Compare, but in this example, we'll be using the command line interface and the batch files we saw earlier as a reference. First, open CMD in the product folder using the navigation bar. You can do this by typing CMD into the navigation bar in Windows Explorer and pressing Enter. Now, let's look at the batch file with Notepad. You can see the pre-built command is already here. Copy this command and paste it into the command line interface. You can see the last three parts of the command are a pair of input files and an output file. All you need to do is change the input paths to those of the files you want to compare, and you can also change what the result file will be called if you like. When you change these, don't forget the file type suffixes. In this case, the output file needs to be of type .html. Now, Press Enter to run the command, and when the comparison completes, you can open the result file. And just like that, you've performed a comparison on your own files. Before I go, let's take a look at the support that's available to you. Our documentation site, linked in the description, contains dozens of samples and step-by-step -step guides. These come with links to Bitbucket repositories, so you can download code that already works with our Java library and API to make integration even easier. In addition, there's extensive material on how to use the REST API, so you can get working with third-party software like Postman in minutes. If you're facing technical challenges, you have full access to the Delta XML support portal. And finally, our team of solution architects are available to talk to you about technical details and implementation, so don't be afraid to get in contact with us. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with our latest features and releases. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Oliver at Delta XML signing off.